Hello, my name is Danek. Welcome to my next tutorial. Today I want to show you how to start creating data center proxies with Linode. So you will need uh, just a Linode account and uh, Linode APK. So let's start. First, uh, you may uh, search Google for uh, Linode free credit since Linode is offering uh, $100 free credit. Uh, for a new account so then just sign in and uh, you can you can uh, go to, uh, to to your your account and find uh, API tokens now uh, you can just uh, create uh, create uh, a personal ACES token name this token uh, as you want and make sure you check read and write here and uh, then uh, click uh, create token and uh, copy this uh, this uh, ACES token in uh, query proxy just uh, go to Linode click on add account name this account as you want insert uh, Linode API token and then click on add Linode account now you can uh, start creating your proxies so just select the data center where you want to create proxies i want to create proxies in um, in uh, germany select the instance how many uh, how many instances you want to create and uh, select default port uh, how you want to secure your proxies i want to secure my proxies with uh, login username and password you want to secure your proxies with the IP address just select secure by IP address and uh, then just click on uh, create Linux proxies So now we need to wait a few minutes before I, our proxies will appear in our proxy list. So our proxies are ready and as you can see we have received uh, for this instance uh, three proxies. The first proxy we have received is uh, IPv6 proxy. Uh, secure by login because we have selected login um, second uh, proxy is HTTP IPv4 proxy and third is uh, SOX5 um, HTTP uh, oh sorry SOX5 IPv4 proxy so let's try if they are working I will use uh, this tool for testing. So this is the IPv6 proxy. And this is IPv4 proxy. So let's try these proxies. As you see they're working. And uh, now let's try these proxies with uh, with browser. So first, let's try uh, IPv6 proxy. Right, I'm going to import both of them. Okay. So. Let's try the first one. And uh, 
uh, now we are using uh, HTTP uh, linear IP address. So let's try the IPv6 address. Okay, and as you see, the IPv6 uh, is working as well. So now we can try the SOX5 proxy. And uh, six five is working as well. So all these three proxies are working from Linode. Linode. And uh, let's let's try out management if out management is working as well. First unit category, if you want to start creating credentials, then uh, I'm going to select the Linode uh, uh, profile, select the proxy type you want to create credentials for. I want to create my first credentials for uh, IPv6 address. Since there is only one instance, you can see only one. Uh, IPv6 uh, proxy. You can select the expiration when this proxy will automatically expire. And uh, you can select uh, uh, security for these credentials. So if these credentials will be secured by username and password or by IP address. If you want to secure them by IP address, you can insert more uh, IP addresses here. Uh, if you select one in automatic expiration, then this creation will expire in one hour. And uh, and uh, let's just just uh, create these credentials. So as you see, this proxy will expire in one hour. And uh, let's try the proxy. Is it working? So, as you see, it's working. So, you can start using. Uh, Cloud management for line of two. Um, once you don't need your uh, Linode proxies, you can just uh, remove all your active um, uh, proxies and instances in account list just by click on a button on uh, this button right here. Or you can uh, remove your instance in your proxy list just on just by click on the button uh, on this red trash button. This will remove also the instance in you know, the uh, dashboard. So like this, and uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, check out my next videos. I am going to. Uh, show you how you can use automatization so you can um, you can uh, let's create proxy create you uh, servers automatically and uh, remove the servers automatically after after definite time intervals 
um, and uh, in my other video you can see how to deal with routers so uh, I know you know the uh, proxies may be used as uh, as uh, for a router as a rotating proxies and uh, I have also video about marketplace because you can publish uh, linear the proxies to marketplace if you want to and uh, that's all thank you for watching again and bye bye